Good morning. Apologies for being late, <clears throat> um, but my name is Helen Jennings. Um, I am a stamping up demonstrator based here in the UK and um, I got here eventually. So welcome. So if you are coming on live, do pop on and say hello. Tell us where in the world you are. Um, do share this video out so that um, other people that you know who enjoy a bit of crafting and things can come on in and join us that would be fabulous <coughs> um so welcome into a new week it's been a bit of a mad weekend really i don't quite know where the weekend's gone um so i was left sort of rushing around a bit like a lunatic this morning gathering together all my bits for our project this morning i've got a glass of water um so we're hopefully um, all geared up and ready to go. So today is the last day of September. Just where is this year going? It is scarily whizzing by and this sort of next day or two, today, tomorrow, they're quite important in the stamping up year because the 1st of October, tomorrow, is the first day of our new stamping up year. So I'm in that sort of stage at the moment where I'm thinking about my New Year's resolutions for the next year. What is it that I hope to achieve and do? Um, what would I like? Where would I like to be this time next year? I'd like to still be here with you crafting. Um, but that, you know, little things have been tweaked and improved and got better with my business. So, so that's the sort of stage where... We're at today, so we're at the end. Today is the last day of the stamping up year, so it does mean it's the last day that you can do things like um, do your three for one, um, buy three, get fourth <coughs> free on your DSP. So if you do want to stock up on your designer series paper, today is the last day to do that. So don't miss the boat on that one. There will, of course, be exciting new things coming, but um, for today, don't miss out on that deal. That That's today's deal. Um, but as we are looking forward to this week ahead, and October is always birthday month for me, so my physical birthday is at the beginning of the month, and my stamping up birthday is at the end of the month, so look out for things coming as well to celebrate um, that birthday month, um, little things that you can join in with and um, things that you could possibly benefit from as well so those are all things coming up but for today we're going to look at what's on the table in front of me and I thought I would just step away from Christmas possibly because it's my birthday this week so I want to be thinking about birthday things not Christmas things so let's step away from Christmas just for a week and we will go back to the annual catalogue this week and to a bundle that is called Friend Like You. And this little bundle was one that caught my eye really early on when I was looking through the catalogue. Um, and possibly one of the projects that caught my eye if I flick to the bundle index at the front would be this card here. <coughs> using our gorgeous pigment sprinkles as a background and all those lovely waving grasses and those cute little dragonflies. Um, so that really vibrant, gorgeous card is one that has been created using this Friends Like You bundle. But that's not the card that I'm going to be making this morning. <coughs> the card I'm going to be making this morning or attempting to recreate from the catalogue is, is far more subtle and um, is this front one just here in this soft sea foam with its vellum grasses but bright coloured flowers. That's the one we're going to attempt to make this morning using this bundle. So what have we got in this bundle? So first of all we've got this stamp set and it's one of these that you know two step sort of stamp sets. You've got your grassy sort of bases and then your head so there we are we've got this one here that's sort of quite a nice sort of reed bed you've got your little waves just here and dragonfly so if you want to make a little pond type effect that's all ready for you and um, you've got this other sort of 
leafy bottom here and then these flower heads here so that one's more of a meadow type feel um, and then you've got some palm trees so what it, wherever you are based and whether you want palm trees by the sea or rushes by the brook um, or you want to be out in the meadows with those little dragonflies buzzing around those potentials are all there in that little stamp set it's got a whole world of potential um, and some really nice sentiments life is so good with a friend like you happy day um, enjoy the little things and this one says and everything else will work out here's to celebrating you thanks for being there for me so some really nice little sentiments in there as well and then to go with that you get the in the bundle you get the friendly silhouette dies and these are just gorgeous so they're big dies so you've got this one that's sort of like these meadow sort of effect you've got this one that's sort of like those bulrushes You've got a couple of little dragonflies and let me have a look are the dragonflies i've not even put ink to st to uh, <coughs> stamp yet on this one yes yeah, so your dragonflies come as one um stamp your, your dragonfly dies comes as one die so obviously you're going to be able to stamp those and die cut them in one run through and then you've got this um your little palm trees um make quite a nice some um, journey to Jerusalem sort of journey to Bethlehem Christmas card wouldn't it that one with you Mary and Joseph on there um so yeah so there we go so a whole set of little dies that are going to go with it so as I say as you can see I have not put any ink on these stamps yet they are pristine as they are in the packet this is going to be our first play with them so I very definitely haven't got a, here's the one I made earlier to show you. <coughs> but I have got a bit of a croaky voice this morning. So let's hope that that holds out. <coughs> right, <coughs> let's start by making our card base. And I think I am going to make it so it folds on the side lengthways so i'm going to score this card at 14.9 centimeters score it in half as i always do and then cut it in half this way which for us with our a4 cardstock is at 10 and a half centimeters and then let's fold that card in half Grab our bun folder and give that a bit of a burnish. We'll tuck that piece of card out of the way for now. So now we've got a card base that opens on the side. So it's opening this way. I just think that the, they sort of stand better on the mantelpiece that way. They sort of stand on the shelf a bit better, a bit more sturdy. When they're sort of this way, um, occasionally they can droop a little bit. <coughs> If, especially if there's a bit of weight on the front. So there we have our card base. Now the first thing we're going to need is a block. So I can hear my mind thinking, can you hear my brain ticking there? I am just going to grab my Stamparatus. I know it is here somewhere. Actually, let's have a little look. I think we might use our Stamparatus for this because I am going to be using my Stamparatus in a little while. I'm going to <clears throat> anchor it down at the top there. Um, no, I'm not. I'm going to anchor it down at the bottom there. And I want this set just here. And let's have a look. If we were to line that up on that line just there. Why? 
high enough. Oop, let's come down a line. Let's come down to this line just here. Don't even know whether you can see that. So there we go. <clears throat> I'm lining, lining up my little um, set of the leaves and things, the foliage part of this stamp, just there. Now let's have a look. If we come, I think that will probably be about perfect. Let's let's try it and see. Let us live dangerously on this Monday morning. So here I've got Soft Sea as my card base. I've got Soft Sea ink ready to ink up my stamp that's just here. So let's ink that up. She's got a bit wonky. <clears throat> now I know that's got ink on, but hopefully when it picks it up. <laughs> it's very sticky. One might be a bit um, a bit blobby because I've lost. I picked my ink stamp up. Right, let's move it along one notch and stamp again. Perfect. We'll move it along one notch and stamp again. Move along one notch. Stamp again. One more notch. And then we'll go the final notch. Oh, try not to knock our water over. come off the edge just there. Brilliant. <clears throat> so that is our little leafy section going across the middle of our card. I'm now going to swing that round because I'm going to need that in a minute. Um, and we're going to find our flowery top. Now this is where we're going to need to line this up on here. So let's have a look. Would think one would go there, one would go there, one is on top of that stalk, that one will be on top of that stalk, and that will be down there with that stalk. That's looking pretty good, so I don't know whether you, you'll be able to pick that up at all, but I'm just lining up these flower heads with the sort of the stems underneath. So when you're happy that that's where it needs to be, we'll pick that stamp up. And again, <clears throat> for this base line, we're going to st stick with our soft sea foam. Look at that. Brilliant. And now, of course, we can just go across knowing that they should all line up beautifully. Here comes number four. Five and 
means last, but no means least. Number six. There they are. All in a row. <coughs> now again, I'm not going to move those because I'm going to need those in a minute, but I will move our card base. Look at that. That's stunning. Let's close up that soft sea foam. Right. <coughs> in running around this morning, I haven't got my uh, simply chamois wet so we're going to have to cheat and do what I'm trying to avoid doing and use a baby wipe that is one of my new year's resolutions to myself is to try and limit the use of baby wipes because we have such fabulous projects and products to uh, clean our stamps Let's, let's be good to the environment and limit our use of baby wipes. Right, while we've got this, um, these stamps on our Stamparatus, I'm just going to take a piece of white card. It really doesn't need to be that long. Let's just trim a bit off. I don't think it'll need to be that long either, but <clears throat> we'll trim this off. And... We just need this Ooh, you really don't want to get your fingers snapped in there. I think about there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the foliage stamp first and instead of using the um, softy foam for this one, I'm going to use Granny Apple Green. <coughs> so let's ink up. You're much better having sort of like a stamp set underneath these and having it lying flat when you're inking it up. And that avoids getting that ink everywhere that I've just done just there. But that's because I'm working on a strange angle. Right, so let's stamp down our foliage. Perfect. Clean that all up a bit. <clears throat> now for our flowers on the other side, rather than inking them with a stamp, I am going to use some Stamping Right markers. So let's have a little look. So the Stamping White markers I've got here, I've picked up a Granny Apple Green in case I needed one. I don't think I will do. But I've got the Rich Raspberry and I've got the Calypso Coral markers. Let me move this out of the way. So the sort of small and lower down flowers I'm going to do in the Calypso Coral. And then these taller flowers at the top I'm going to do in Rich Raspberry. So I'm just going to take my marker pen my stamping white marker and I'm going to colour direct to stamp. Now being a photopolymer they do sort of the ink does move around a little bit on there but that's looking pretty good and I think We'll do this little sort of thistle looking one as well as a rich raspberry. So let's put a bit of rich raspberry on him. Fabulous. And then we'll get our coastal, uh, not coastal cabana, our calypso coral. Coastal cabana is a very different colour. That's bluey green. We want sort of pinky orangey. And we'll add that. Actually, no, you're another thistle. You want to be you want to be rich raspberry. So I'm just going to wipe the ink off of that one. And the nice thing about this is if we need to go in and add a bit more depth of colour, 
we can do we could have also gone in and added um, sort of two tones to any one flower we could have added a bit of rich basil fruit down the bottom of those other flowers if we'd wanted to look at that beautiful so now we have a beautiful set of wild meadow flowers in a burst of rich raspberry and um, Calypso coral. So thank you Stamparatus, you did your job well there, that is brilliant. So I just need to trim that up a little bit because we don't need it to be quite that big. Let's come about there and we'll take it in morning Sarah we won't go quite that much on the bottom but that will do we'll take it in on the bottom there took my eye off the board slightly so there we have our little little panel of um, wildflowers in fact I'm going to trim that down a bit more on either side I think that's better there we are we have our little panel of wild flowers just there to go with our card base which I'm desperately looking around is just there so what we need now is to get out our dies and we're going to use this wild meadow sort of die just here and a piece of vellum and we'll chop down um, now we must remember that this card is actually lengthways so let's chop that that way and then <coughs> make it ooh, about it will make it seven and then if we need to trim it down a little bit further again we can do sorry apologies for the wobble so we have a piece of vellum there measuring 14.9 by seven and we have our die there that we're going to cut it from now i am going to have to you're going to excuse me just a second while i go and pick up the big shot because i've not got it down by my feet as i normally would have two seconds I picked it up to uh, to bring it through and um, then obviously got sidetracked, put it down and walked away without it. <clears throat> Nothing unusual there. Right, okay, so let's bring our die cutting machine in. Let's lay down our piece of vellum. Let's lay our die on top of it so that there's a little bit of a border on the bottom just so that we've got something to stick down and let's run that through the machine and back again for good measure just because we can this because there's all those sort of quite delicate um, grasses and things which we want to come out but we don't want to tear any of them ones just here 
and I think possibly that could have done with being run through again. You often find on your die cutting machines that you'll get little spots that aren't quite, don't have quite the same pressure as other little spots. And that there is obviously one such spot. And let me just take my scissors. Let's get rid of the bit that we definitely don't want. Put that bit there so that we can see where we're going. And we just have a little bit of the grasses that just haven't quite cut through. That's that bit popped out. And that bit, and then we just have these bits here. Not going to worry too much because if push comes to shove that will be the place where we pl we place our um our piece over the top but there a beautiful grasses <coughs> oh put that die to one side so we have now building up we have our background we have our meadow grasses to go on the front we've got our little meadow flowers to go on the top there and then we only need a greeting now the greeting how they've done it in the um, sample in the catalogue is that they've taken this stamp set that says here's to celebrating you just here and I think that may well fit on this G block, this long, short, little thin block. You just want to try where possible to um, use the nearest size to your stamp in terms of block because that just means that there's less overhang to wobble and to pick up ink and all of those sorts of things so what they've done is that they've created a long here's to celebrating you so to, you'll just do that i've just got some sticky masking tape here i'm going to cover up celebrating you so that all we've got left on there is here's two and i'm going to grab if i can see it my rich raspberry ink. I'm going to ink up here's two and then I'm going to take off this is the important bit take off that um, tape and stamp here's two. Let's give that a good clean. So you want to make sure that it's not got any ink left on it. Take a bit of a kitchen towel and just stamp it off a few times to make sure there's no ink coming off. And then this time we're going to cover up here's two and just ink up celebrating you. Hi Chrissy. Take off the tape, the all important thing. Oh, look at that. Lesson one, find a piece of card that is long enough. So let's work backwards. Let's go with celebrating you. And once more with feeling, we'll give that a good clean. Make sure all the ink is off. I just wanted to really just show you that again in case you know you haven't picked up on it the first time. Take a bit of tape cover up the celebrating you ink up here's two take off the tape line that up 
voila here's to celebrating you by George we did it okay let's trim that down do a bit of a we'll do a bit of an angle on that one here's to celebrating you so let's bring our little card together now then on the um, instructions on the ingredients list that I have got for this card it talks about using some of the subtles um, DSP paper I haven't actually got the settlers pack so I've dug about and found um, another piece of DSP that is Calypso Coral and that is this one from the um, Follow Your Art pack so we just need a slither that's slightly bigger than this so this one is around about one and a half centimeters so let's make this two so a two centimeter strip of that <coughs> and let's bring this baby together right okay so we are going to put our two centimeter strip of card let us um, mimic our I don't want to stick that on there but I want to mimic where we've sliced it so we'll have that end and that end like that and then we'll take our snail no I think first of all we're going to put our vellum down now then to put my vellum down I think I'm going to use some little glue dots along the bottom here I think nearly all adhesive shows underneath vellum Blue dots are a little bit unobtrusive and what we can do is we're going to be adding some sort of little gems and sequins in um, so we can just assure that those are um, covering up any spots that are visible so let's put our little layer of vellum just here and then I'm going to take I'll put more of these little glue dots and we'll just anchor down some of these flowers have that one there and if we have that one there we have one down this end Need to anchor you little guys down. Not worried if they're a little bit free, just don't want them to be too sticky uppy. Right. So we've got our vellum in the background, we've got our stamped um, grasses going across the back of our card, we've got our vellum stuck on the front of there now. Now we're going to put in place our little strip of um, Calypso coral paper, so let's add some um, snail to that. Make sure we're adding it on the right way, yes, so we'll add that across there. Hi Angie. And then we're going to grab a little bit. I really am at the end of my reel of this spotty tulle ribbon now. Look, it's um, really not very much left, but I've got enough 
for what we need which is just enough to come out either side of that flowery border so again I think we'll use some glue dots on here let's have one and two we have that coming across here And then on our little flowery meadowy patch, we'll put some um, dimensionals. Thank you, girls, for sharing. So let's put that on here with some dimensionals. And then we've got our greeting panel just here that we're going to have coming across here, partially across our flowers and partially across our paper. So where it's crossing the flowers, we won't want dimensionals, but where it's up this side, we will because we'll need to raise that side up so looking at that, we need our first dimensional around about there. And then we'll put a couple more on the back here so that that's nicely held up. We'll put a bit of snail on that side so that that will attach itself to our panel on the front. So now all we need is to add in a few little sparkly pretty bits. So what shall we have? Here I've got some of the woven threads um, sequins just because those are those nice pastely colours. Um, and I've got some um, sparkly rhinestones, so I think we'll put we'll put just a few sparkly rhinestones on there, and then I think we'll have a few little sequins going on in the background here. Just because we can. Now then, for some reason, I haven't got my picky up tool in here. So let's have a little dig about what do we want. We just want some really pale ones. I haven't got a lot of colour in them. Excuse my head, but that is just adding a little bit of sparkle in that background. Yeah, so this is where you want your picky up tool. This is why we love our picky up tool. It saves you having to wet your finger to pick up your sequins. There we go. Let's just make sure those are pushed down into that glue. So there we go, here's to celebrating you. So as I said, today is um, it's the last day, I'm just going to trim that little bit of venom off there, last day of the stamping up year, tomorrow is a new year, so a bit like when you get to the end of the of the calendar year, you look back on what you've achieved over this 12 months and look forward to what you want to achieve in the next 12 months. That's the that's the day we're at today. So um, for any of you, any of my friends that are demonstrators, here's to celebrating you. Here's to celebrating everything that you achieved over the last year. And um, here's to moving forward into a new stamping up year, new adventures. 
um, and I hope that you will all come with me as we head off for another exciting year and at the end of the month I'll have been a demonstrator for six years and uh, so as I head off into my seventh year do keep coming back to craft with me because it's lovely to have you here so that's our Monday morning done um, time for breakfast I think and another cup of tea and I will be back on Thursday when we'll be having a bit more of a play with this beautiful stamp set the friends like you stamp set um, and the gorgeous dies that go with it those sort of silhouette type dies um, taking the die out and can't see the rest of the packet here it is and I think somewhere we're going to have to get those little dragonflies in on Thursday, aren't we? Because they are just so sweet. I love those little dragonflies. So we might have a play with some different backgrounds. Who knows? Who knows what we're going to play with on Thursday? That's an adventure for another day. So um, thank you for joining me this morning and have a good week. And do come back and say hello on Thursday. If I can get the video to finish so that we can say goodbye.